So, the story goes like this. Video referee Lee Mason forgot to draw offside lines on Brentford's controversial goal, a mistake that would have a massive impact on Arsenal's fight for the Premier League title. Christian Norgard was in an offside position when he crossed for Ivan Toney and the goal would have been ruled out if the VAR lines had been drawn. Victory for Arsenal would have put him 8 points clear at the top of the Premier League. Mason took an edge to decide that Pinnock was not interfering with play, but then rushed past the key incident and checked it without drawing the crucial VAR line. Had he done so, Norgard would have been ruled offside and Tony's 74th minute goal would be disallowed. Mikel Arteta said after the game, I just looked back and it is offside. It is frustrating, but they will probably give an explanation later in the week. Today, we haven't got one. So, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Lee Mason, a professional Premier League referee, forgot to draw lines for potential offside check. I'd get it if this happened in Bulgarian second division game, and no offense to them, but f hell. We are talking about the Premier League official. You had one big decision to make during the whole 90 minutes of the game, and that was to check that Brentford's goal. One single important decision that you had to check during the full game, and somehow you still managed to f that up. Few hours before the Arsenal game, Thomas Solce got away with that ridiculous handball save. And look, I agree it should have been a penalty, but at the end of the day, that was a subjective decision from referee to not give a penalty, and he thought that Solce had no intention to hit the ball with his hand. So, okay, in some way, we can understand that. But this was something else. It's black and white, simple as it gets. You have 6000 cameras at your disposal, and you just have to draw automatic lines using a simple software, and you still managed to somehow f*** that up. Now look, maybe it's time we give robots or better said artificial intelligence a chance to run things in the VAR room. And I'm not even kidding. If a professional referee is unable to use a simple computer program to check one single action from the team for a possible offside and draw some lines, then I don't know. I think Lee Mason probably has a panic attack when he has to send a WhatsApp message on his phone due to the entire complexity of that procedure. And I'm not even mad, I'm just shocked that in all my years of following the Premier League and football in general, I've never seen something like this happen. We now have all these cameras, sensors and every other technological help we can get so we don't have to tolerate the referee's mistakes anymore, or better said, human mistakes. And these Premier League referees are still living in Stone Age. And you know what's the worst thing about this? That no one will answer for this. Believe me, they were probably just asking politely, Look Lee, you made a mistake against Arsenal, but it's okay, we get it, don't push yourself too much. It doesn't matter that you are a complete and you're official Premier League referee for the last 20 years, don't worry Lee, it can happen to anyone. Listen, I made a video regarding everything that I hate about today's football, and referees are also a big part of that problem, so if you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out. It's a good wit, trust me. And by the way, Lee Mason was also the judge who cancelled that goal against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Unbelievable. But anyway, it is what it is. Man City next up, and let's just hope that these two points, which we unfairly lost yesterday, will not have an impact at the end of the season. And I don't want to see Lee Mason anywhere near the Emirates in the future. He is incompetent to referee a 5 vs 5 Sunday tournament in Streatham, let alone a Premier League game. But what are your thoughts? How would you solve the problem of disastrous referees in England? Write down in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.